Welcome to Gold Coast Light Rail Science Tram where we travel Queensland's first light rail system and discover the exciting science and engineering challenges that the project team have encountered to bring the system to life. We've learned about the irreversible chemical change of concrete but before the liquid concrete can be poured around the track what needs to be done with the rail? For more let's hear from field reporter Kaimana. Thanks Libby. We're here with McConnell Dow's Rail Project Manager, Greg. Can you explain what happens with the rails? Before concrete can be poured around the tracks, the rails need to be set in position and joined together by a process called aluminothermic welding. Aluminothermic welding is a reversible chemical process that joins two pieces of rail together through heating a special mixture containing aluminium and iron oxide, which when heated reacts in a crucible to form molten steel and slag. The molten steel, which is now a liquid, is poured into moulds where it then joins together the preheated rail ends, filling the gap between the rail to make a continuous line. Once the joint has cooled, it solidifies again and any excess metal is removed. This reversible chemical change, when heat is added, is similar to when you freeze water. When you put water in the freezer, it turns to ice, but when you add heat, it changes back to a liquid form. So if the tracks were supplied in lengths of 18 metres only, and the tracks will run for 13 kilometres. That's nearly 2,888 pieces of rail that need to be welded together before the concrete can be poured. That's the same distance as 520 football fields joined together. That's right, and to ensure a comfortable ride on the tram, all joints need to be made as smooth as possible. Thanks, Greg. Back to you, Libby. Until the next time we travel the Gold Coast Light Rail Science Tram, keep loving learning.